Welcome back to my channel. So glad to have you back here with me. So over the past week, I have been wrestling with what I should post next. There's so many different things that I could talk about, but I just was in my head and struggling to think of what exactly I should be sharing this week. So this video is the first part of my five part series of AI automation tools for SMMA owners. This series is all about exploring different AI tools that I'm going to be using in my own agency to help my processes have an easier flow so that I can save more time and make more money. And I wanted to share these tools with you so that you could do the same exact thing. Part one is all about content creation. So obviously content creation, it plays a very heavy part in social media marketing. I would say most agency owners that own a SMMA, their area of expertise is usually focused more on the ad side of things. Then this series is still going to be very helpful for you, but this particular part may not be as helpful. I'm basically an all service SMMA. Like I do pretty much anything in terms of content creation, copywriting, media buying, short form content. And now I'm in the process of making AI automation services for my clients. This series is gonna to touch on a bunch of these things and I'm hoping that you follow along with me. But like I said before, this first episode of this series is going to be about content creation. So I'm really excited to share these tools with you. Just for full transparency, I haven't got my hands on all of these tools yet, but they are things that I am going to be trying in my own agency. But anyways, I'm excited to share this. So let me just go ahead and jump right into these tools for you. All right. So this first tool is called durable.co. This is one tool I have not gotten hands on with yet, but this tool is insane. It basically creates a website for you. And I was just stunned by Firstly, how fast you can make a website from this. I can see full service agencies using this tool for their clients. If they're looking for someone to create a website for them, I can see SMMA owners also using this for their own website. So the next tool is one that I find really useful. I've actually used this one to create short form clips for my agency. And this one is called video.ai. It takes the long form content, AKA it would take this YouTube video if I uploaded it to it and it would chop it up into like eight to 10 different clips and areas that it feels would be best with like the best hooks to uh, grab people's attention once I post them on my social media accounts. I have seen some good things with this. I did use it once, but there are some things that I did not particularly like about it. And here's what they were. Number one was the processing time of me uploading the video to their platform. It took like 45 minutes to an hour for me to fully have my video uploaded on their website. 45 minutes to an hour, that is a decent amount of time to wait for a video to be uploaded, especially because that video that I uploaded was only like eight minutes long. Another thing that I noticed with it is the eight clips that it chopped up for me, the platform didn't pick clips that had good hooks in them. So if I wanted to use one of these clips and have a good hook, I'd have to individually go in and edit specific areas of that video and drag it to the clip that it automatically cut up for me so that that clip could have a good hook, if that makes sense. And the last thing that I noticed with this was whenever I added the subtitles and tried to trim the video a little bit, it would basically cut off one second before when I asked it to originally cut off. So my sentence wouldn't fully finish in the final edited video that I provided to me. So those are the three things that I noticed with it. Honestly, it's a new platform, so I'm not expecting for it to be perfect. And I imagine that other people have caught on to this as well. So I'm sure that they'll work on this, but it's something that I wanted to point out. But with that, since there were a few negatives with it, I wanted to find another software that could do the, basically the same exact thing. And I ended up finding Opus Clip. I'm actually going to be using Opus Clip to chop up this long form content into shorter ones and post on my social media channels. So stay tuned for that. If you're not following me on Instagram or on threads, definitely give me a follow there. I'm gonna be posting some of this stuff. Um, so you'll be able to see like what the short form content looked like. So let me jump in here. I'm gonna show you Opus Clip real quick. I'm just gonna go through the website. I'm not gonna do any editing or anything. And I'm just gonna show you what, what exactly it does, its UI and all that fun stuff. So this is Opus Clip right here. Um, as you can see, it is going to be close to the same thing as video.ai. The biggest difference right off the bat is the UI is just so much better. Um, makes me trust the platform a little bit more, but you can see that it's going to take that long clip, take the hook, get the relevant highlights and add it and create multiple different variations of this. So I haven't tried this yet. 
again, I want to give this one a shot for this video that I'm creating and see how well it does in, in, in taking this long form video and turning it into those, those short form clips. If you end up giving it a try, let me know too. All right, next AI automation tool for content creation. This one is pretty crazy. This one's called Tome. And what you can do with Tome is you can create presentation decks with it. If you're an SMMA owner, I'm assuming you are if you're watching this video, you know that providing your clients with ad results on a weekly or bi-weekly basis is very important. And what Tome does is I believe it uses ChatGPT's API. They connected it to their software and you just type in it what type of presentation you want. There is a free version, and from what I've seen, the free version seems to be enough for me. If you want the pro version, it's like $8 a month, which isn't too bad. Let me show you a little bit about Tome, just so you can get a feel of what they do and how you can implement it in your own business. This right here is Tome software, so I'm gonna just kind of go ahead and create a new presentation. This is one that I messed around with for my own business, but I wanna create one for scratch for you just to see how you can get this done. So you just press create over there and you would press this, create presentation about, and I'm just going to type some random business idea here. So All right, let's try that. So it's generating the outline and here we can see the summary of what it has created for us. So let's continue. So this right here, okay, yep, it's going through the pages. So third page, fourth page, all right. This looks pretty good so far. Let me see. So first page is Rise of the Sourdough Kingdom, a sales pitch for Omaha's best bakery. Down, introducing the best sourdough in Omaha. Why sourdough bread? Our ingredients, our baking process, customer reviews, business today. It's not bad. Introducing the best sourdough bread. So there's the introduction page. Why our bread, our ingredients, our baking process, customer reviews, of course, make your own adjustments here, but the layout of this, even some of the words, the way that they're saying it, it's actually really good. All right, so the next AI content creation tool that you can use in your SMMA is going to be Gleam. So Gleam is a AI automated video editor. And as of right now, all it can really do is it takes away the silent spaces of your video so that you don't have to go through every single bit of your full video and cut out that dead silence whenever you're trying to think of what exactly to say. Happens to me all the time. And another thing that it does is it cuts out the bad takes. And if you're on YouTube, if you create any long form content, we all have those bad takes. And Gleam seems to be something that can really help with this. Once that's done, you upload it onto either Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, or DaVinci Resolve. So those are the only three platforms that I have seen that you can upload it on and continue to keep editing that video. And uh, for me, that's that's a big downfall because I use CapCut, but I wanted to share this one because I have not seen anything like this yet. You know any other ones that are like Gleam? Let me know in the comments. All right, so I just wanted to give a quick update on this. So I was gonna use Gleam to edit my video and I did try to play around with it, see if it would work for me. It's still a good platform, don't get me wrong. It has some things though that it needs to work on. So. For instance, you can see all these cuts here. These cuts were made from bad takes, and you can also see the cuts down here where it has this little talking bubble with a line going through it. These are the sections where there was just dead air that they decided to cut out of it. So I did try using this to edit this video, but it ended up being not as good as I originally thought it would be. And that's okay. I, you know, I'm not expecting perfection with this, but I did want to be fully transparent here. Um, there was just a lot of missing pieces and a lot of the areas that I had to go in and personally go through and cut out these sections. So if I wanted to cut this out, I would highlight it and then press cut or backspace. There's just a lot of that going on. So I just figured, you know what, it'd be a lot faster if I edited this in CapCut instead. So I'm glad I gave it a try. I wanted to keep you in the loop and let you know how it did go. But yeah, there's a little update on that for you. All right, the last tool I saved the best for last. It's called adcreative.ai. This seems insane. How it works is you're basically going to be connecting your client's accounts to this platform. And essentially after you connect that account, it's going to be going through 
the creatives and seeing what are the top performers. From that, they will create content that is similar to the top performing content. The idea behind it, it seems legit. It's, I feel like there will be some things that I need to touch up on it just because I know AI isn't fully there yet. But the stuff that I've shared here on the screen, this is just the main website. And I'm going to be digging more into it this week. I will be letting you know how it goes how those creatives turned out and if I end up even launching them. So if you're on threads or on Instagram, give me a follow. I will keep you updated and posted on that. But that's gonna be it for part one of this series. If you enjoyed learning about these AI content creation tools, please give this video a like that will help my channel out a ton. And of course, subscribe if you're looking forward to part two of this five part series. And yeah, I hope that you got some value out of this. Let me know in the comments which tool you're going to be trying first for your SMMA. And I will see you in the next video.